Whoa, 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 whoa. John's doing a normal video where he talks into a mic? Wow, that's crazy. So in this video, I'm gonna have a time lapse of my last painting in Photoshop. And I'm gonna be talking about why I'm never using Photoshop ever again for my art. I'm going to be changing to Paintstorm Studio. It's so much faster than Photoshop and it's only $20. And that's a lifetime subscription, not a monthly, like Photoshop, where it's, hey, insert price here, lol, a month, and you may have fast interfaces. I have used Photoshop for about a year and a half, and I only used the Paintstorm Studio trial, and the trial alone was three times faster than Photoshop has been for me. And that's not good. <laughs> so once I get paid, I'm never using that ever again. It's gone. You're never seeing it on this channel again. There was a few times while I was working on this painting in the background where I would click and tr try and paint, but the brush would not work. It would just freeze and then maybe 30 seconds later it would start drawing by itself. And while I was using Paint Storm, this never happened. This change will replace both Photoshop and Paint Toolsai. So I will only be using Paint Storm as my pretty much permanent art software from now on. I love the brush engine in it is beautiful. It uses the GPU for all of the brushes and like one of the most customizable softwares I've ever used. You can change down to what the brush button looks like when it's selected. It's great. I did a comparison over on my Instagram, shameless plug, of a comparison between Paintstorm and Photoshop. I tested both of the softwares on a 6000 by 6000 pixel canvas with the same brush, same brush size, same DPI, same everything. Paintstorm was like the holy software where it was running at 60 frames per second on a 6000 pixel canvas. And Photoshop, it, it, it was doing something. It wasn't painting, but it was doing something. It's, it's just kind of over there doing its own thing. I mean, like, look at that. It, that's sad. So about the painting in the back, I had just watched a compilation of Stamper voice acting, and I had forgotten that he did this thing with the cats in Battle Block Theater. But I guess there's no reasoning with madness. Or cats, for that matter. Seriously, try talking sense into a cat. They just stare at you with their lifeless, patronizing eyeballs for like, a couple of seconds, and then they just walk away. And then you're like, don't turn your back on me. And they're like, nah. And then you're all like, <laughs> and then they're all like, nah. But it is what it is, I guess. And I always loved that. So, uh, I was like, hey, why not? I want to paint him. And this painting actually turned out really good. I love how it looks now. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. You won't see Photoshop again, expect to see more speed paints with Paintstorm and some tutorials, and there's gonna be a review on the software too, I'm definitely doing that. But I'm gonna have the rest of the time lapse go now. But I hope you enjoyed, I hope I explained everything well. I definitely recommend Paintstorm, but I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, I don't really care. Bye!